hello, I have a new game idea for you. Ah, okay, and what's it about then? I believe this is the first game pitch that you've done. Well, you see, lots of people are starting to create lots of battle games. Ah, uh, very unoriginal. So I thought that we would. Great! Yeah, anyway, in this game you can play as solos, duos or squads. There are a hundred people in one field or map and you have to be the last team standing. Occasionally the map will be surrounded with a blue force, which if players are in, they will start to lose health. Nice! I believe that no other game has done that yet. I know, but it's, it's only a matter of time. I heard that this one can be in a fortnight. Why did you exaggerate the fortnight? Uh, don't worry. Anyway, once you enter a game, you can run around the lobby for about 30 seconds until your plane comes. Then no matter where you are, you'll, you'll, teleport, you'll teleport onto the plane at the same time as everybody else. Why is that? Well, if we had this manual, then there would be people and trolls who just wouldn't go in the plane and stop it for everyone else. You could have just had it so that the character is on autopilot. True, but then we'd have to program that, and also this way is quicker. Anyway, we're all in this plane, and whoever plays the game more will have a higher royal point point than everyone else. I thought that we can give them a little shout out by letting them choose the colour of the plane. Ooh, very unique. A way to shout out the people who get us the most money. I like your thinking. Certain styles of paints can give them boosts. For example, if you were chosen because you were the highest royal point in the, the map at, the, at that time, then if your plane got chosen and you had the camouflage plane, then you would only be able to, to detect when planes were coming to drop crates. Now, most other games have lots of ways to get money. I, I've only seen one way. Is there any more ways that we can get money from the players? Well... In PUBG, that's what, that's what we're going to call the game by the way, we like to think that a player can be successful without having to pay all the time. So we have two main currencies. UC, which is unknown currency, right, that's what it's called. I couldn't think of a name for that. And BP, battle points. BP is a freemium currency where you can buy more, but it's easy to obtain by paying nothing. And UC unknown currency where you get all the awesome costumes and extra rewards at times mm, okay the game might struggle financially um how are we going to make the game then well i tried using scratch.com however it didn't have enough detail so we're gonna go with blue hole which is a south korean company they know what they're doing free labor is awesome don't tell anyone you heard that. Mr. Ace, if you tell anybody, or you, Nathan, I will find you. Anyway, they have awesome graphics, and if the, the customers don't like how the, the controls are set up, then they can change them. I thought that we could start selling more of those devices where your phone turns into a little controller. Genius. What platforms are the game? is the game for, then? It's going to be for iOS, the Play Store, Xbox, PlayStation, and Microsoft Windows. Nice! A wide variety! Are we going to have multi-platform play? I hear games are starting to do that now. Oh, no, 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 no. If one friend has PUBG Mobile and the other has the Xbox version, they're stuck. They can't play together. That way, one of them would have to join the other game and increase the popularity of the game and buy more copies of the game. But couldn't they also bring it down? Xbox would be one of the most money bringing platforms and if both of the, the friends have a mobile, obviously they're going to play via mobile. Alright, fine. Um, how about iOS and Android users can play together? Mm, fine, okay. Um, oh, what are the, um, are the maps like for the game then? 
Oh, we have four. This game takes up a lot of data. So as long as people have unlimited data or a lot of data, then they're fine, right? We have a city-based map, a snow-based map, a desert map, and a rainforest-based map. Excellent. I'll bet the others coming in a fortnight won't have that. Why are you emphasising fortnight? Because you did? Anyway, how are people going to get around the map? Oh, they can run, they can walk, they can drive normal cars, uh, jeeps, 1960s large caravans, uh, trucks, snowmobiles, and bikes with two and three wheels. This game, we feel, will be successful due to its realism. That we take, a pro we take pride on. Just ignore the big blue force around the edges. Do you know what? I like the sound of this game. Let's do it.